or yeah. reacting to like external things as they are happening right yeah. so showing up with the intention of i'm just going to get all the rebounds but then something happens that somebody elbows you in the wrong way and immediately you're triggered into <laughs> like something else and then your plan gets derailed and you never go back to it right i think that was my biggest thing that was my problem oh we could talk for an hour on that we could talk forever on yeah because you would go so rob would start going to the races going to a lot of the races supercross races specifically yeah. i remember although no you spent a one long season 2013 going to it felt like a lot of outdoors i went to a lot yeah and i think we had maybe a better game plan and better composure overall when it came to the plan of attack for outdoors because mm -hmm. we it was pretty like predictable yeah i was gonna come and pass people in the last few laps and you were gonna give the hand signals and <laughs> i would break into the top 20 within the like the last few minutes of the race and never, it just happened every time i never had a pit board by the way and we, he would fly by what position i'm in i'd go two three so and he would the, whoever the ama guy is would always try to get you out of the mechanics oh, I area got kicked out i'm like no i have a manager because <laughs> <laughs> he like, never believed that rob was a mechanic because yeah. he didn't have a pip or didn't have a surely didn't have a headset but didn't have oh, God, a, a no. pip board nothing so when i would come by rob would just hand signal and i remember i would just get so pissed anytime i saw a two because that meant 20s yeah. um where i just i needed it to be scoring points so i needed a, a one i would compare but that was a, that was a good year for you though, because you were, you you were grinding. I just remember you grinding and grinding and grinding, and it wasn't like in Supercross. I saw moments where you would quit. Yeah, that was a good year in Supercross too, though. So I was kind of carrying a little bit of momentum. That was 2013, so that's yeah. when I got fourth at Indy, and I got some top tens, sure, and I got I, top ten in points. You were getting angry, too, which I liked. Yep. I, when I saw you angry, AJ went through this phase where he's like, I'm not competitive. And I looked at him like, you're the most competitive person I know. You can't do anything without making a competition out of it. But he would use it as an excuse, and I called him out on it. And the reason why... He would call himself on it is because he'd get angry. Guess what happens when he gets angry? You were ultra competitive. I've seen you come from absolutely dead last, dead last in an LCQ and go all the way up to fourth place. Yeah. Not just yeah, once. Cra I've crashed in the first turn. In the 450 class, I remember I did it at uh, either MetLife or Gillette. I think it was MetLife. And 2016, I had a torn ACL. I tangled oh, yeah, in the first turn. That. Yeah. And I came, from, I came from dead last to third or fourth. And I, I think it happened in Atlanta too. Like that 2013, I'm almost positive. Yeah, it? yeah. Who was, was and Kyle? it was always because I was mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I do remember multiple races, especially in Supercross, because it was so nerve wracking that the plan would always go out the window, almost no matter what. There well, was a guarantee. Really, in the beginning, there was no plan. Yeah, and then when really there tried wasn't. to be a plan, I would I would throw it out the window. The best, <laughs> unfortunately, it's like now. Well, you got a fan. Fortunately and unfortunately, it's like I, I. This is my honest opinion, knowing you as well as I know you. You've never reached your full potential, not even close. No, which is why I want to do the experiment. Not even close. No, not even, and not even, not even close. Not even close. Not even close. I honestly feel I've seen, I've been around this sport long enough. I've seen the best. I've seen all different types of riders, teams, racers, all of it. I've seen it all. And I, it's easy. It's an easy comparison to see where you are now. Um, and the only thing holding you back then was really your mindset mm -hmm. and when we were at when was the last year race last year 2023 yeah that was last year right yep. yeah um you're at you i think just opened the window yep into your true potential last yeah. year yeah i didn't you finally nearly get there but i hope i realized I turned a, a very sharp corner. A very sharp corner. Yeah. I saw it. Um, I was probably one of the few people that understood it because I was able to compare it, right? Um, I think your current team at the time did a great job 
I think they did a really good job, but I don't think they saw some of the things that I saw. And um, because they also know me as the leader and the boss of the Moto Academy, one hundred percent. And I don't give a shit about that. Right. right. So that's the confident guy that knows what he's doing, and they never knew that there wasn't that guy that would show up <laughs> on race day. But that at that point, it wasn't even like. I don't know. It's it was hard. It was it was me seeing you as like a grown up for like the first time, really. Is like and it was weird how I saw it. It was saw it through your maturity and putting things in their place when things went bad. You had one moment, one moment, and you sat in the van. It was after the first race. It was uh Houston. Was Houston? Yeah. And you were trying to you were you fell back into some of your same behavior, right? And then that carried over. What the, what was the date for Houston? Was that the beginning of January? It beginning was. of February. It was the beginning of February, yep. right? I saw a little bit of it before that when we were at the track, the dog pound. Mm -hmm. And you and I had a discussion in the car. We had a discussion in the car. Because your suspension, remember that? We were working on your suspension. It was it was off. And... It kickstarted your own behavior, your old behavior. It put you in a spot. I'm not having fun. Da, 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 da. All the excuses started coming out. And we sat in the car and ride home. James was sitting in the back seat. Or no, maybe James. No, James yeah, was. Probably. He was sitting in the back seat. And we were talking about the session and, and it kind of went quiet for a little bit. And I just, I challenged you. I said, you have done a very good job from a personal perspective and a growth perspective holding yourself accountable you've done a great job so much so that you talk about it you read books now you do all these types of things about growth mindset yet you just fell right back into your old behavior and i remember it went quiet for probably two minutes in the car and you just started thinking about it and thinking about it and i just looked out the window at that point because i knew right then and there that you got it and you understood it and we only had to revisit that conversation once, just once, and it was in Houston. Yeah, so it never happened again the rest of training, no. and then it was the first no. race where it, something triggered again, and then it. Remember, I threw gone. away the I threw away the, the watch. You're like, let's do lap times. I threw it away, <clears throat> and I was like, nope. The only thing you're going to do is get your flow going. That's it, because you couldn't. You weren't even at a point at that point to to where the lap times even mattered. And I was like, see, we're not doing the same things again. I didn't want to keep doing the same things. I wanted to, to encourage growth by doing things differently and getting you to a place where, and it worked and it worked. And you took it from there. You took it from there. If you guys enjoyed this podcast clip and you want to listen to full episodes, you can do so on Spotify and Apple Music. If you want to send in your own video submission, you can join us in the Moto Academy family inside of the Moto Academy app by just going to themotoacademy.com. That's also where you can sign up for a class. Okay, guys. See you next episode.